All right, so we just talked about this famous, this famous paper in CVPR, you know, that was written by Triggs and Dalal in 2005. So uh, they had this feature that was able that they had this whole architecture that was able to find object detection techniques that were uh, scale invariant as well as translation invariant or shift invariant and it was it was a very good approach towards the object detection and one of the best papers that we had at that time so they did use the uh, feature extractor that was the hog feature extractor and we can see that how hog works it, that is important to understand in order to completely grasp the idea of uh, this paper and for this they did define a simple process well at first we do know as i mentioned before they did find define this 120 64 by 164 by 128 64 by 128 sized windows for this uh, for the detection of pedestrians and they were further divided into smaller blocks where these blocks were further divided into smaller cells right and where each cell let's call it a was a part of image and with a rows and b columns right so it was part of an image it could be it could have been three by three five by five seven by seven or any any size but odd multiply by odd right so uh, we extracted these cells and for every cells what they did was they found the gradients the x and y gradient which we have learned about the gradients how we convolve a part of image let's convolve this image by a gradient vector a gradient filter and this will give out the the um the x gradient right and similarly we find the y gradient of the image that tells us about the change in intensities across the x and y axis and this gives us further two pieces of information the gradient magnitude and the gradient angle right so for each cell we are going to find these two things gradient magnitude and gradient gradient angle so the gradient angle for the gradient angle we define a histogram right on the x-axis it has different um, angles so 0 45 90 135 and so on up to right and for every appearance of an angle we make a bin on top of that right for example if the first for the first cell we got if for this cell we got 46 degrees so we add one here and we look at its corresponding gradient magnitude which is let's say 5 so we add 5 to that bin right so we are adding we are increasing that the size of that bin in a histogram by a, by 5 units right so that is the basic idea of taking up with the HOG feature extractor and you you just find different angles and you define bins and you add their gradient magnitudes and make this with this histogram right and you add it into for every every angle for every cell you do this for the next cell and then you combine this histogram into a vector right to vector representation then did you do this for the next cell you get another histogram vector and for another until you get it for the complete box you combine it to concatenate them these together and you get this huge huge uh, 
वैक्टर राइट दैट इज दी डिस्क्रिप्टर दी एच ओ ग्राम दी एच ओ जी डिस्क्रिप्टर सो वन थिंग वॉज दैट दी एच ओ जी वॉज नॉट एबल टू डिटेक्ट फीचर सो इट वॉज नॉट एबल टू डिटेक्ट दी टेक्स्चर ऑफ इमेजेस राइट सो इट कुड नॉट डिटेक्ट टेक्स्चर इट वॉज जस्ट एंगल्स एंड ओरिएंटेशन एंड एक्स ग्रेडियंट एंड वाई ग्रेडियंट बट इट डिड नॉट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट द फीचर्स द टेक्स्चर सो दैट इज हाउ यू कम्बाइंड इट टूगेदर फॉर डिफरेंट ब्लॉक्स एंड यू गेट अ डिस्क्रिप्टर फॉर दिस कम्प्लीट इमेज the bigger one and you can easily pass it on to further classifiers that is that can able to that is able to detect whether it's a pedestrian or something not a pedestrian so overall if we look at hug what we did was we took an our image we divided it into smaller blocks and then we further divided those blocks into smaller cells and for each and every cell we passed on them to find these uh, gradients x and y gradient you know there's different filters that are already defined to find that are already defined to <clears throat> calculate the x and y gradients and we using these gradients we find the gradient magnitude and angles then we found calculated this histogram we combined this histogram for each and every cell in the block and we combined the block for each and every block to make this huge image descriptor so that is how hug actually worked and so in the next video we're going to look at more classical problems the classical architectures of cnns and how they are working and how we can use them to implement in our daily lives so hope to see you in the next video yeah.